Hello, everybody, Chuckle into 1000 and Point for Duty, welcoming you back to more Seal Bay Chronicles Divinative Edition. In the last episode, we made our way here to Frontier Village after discovering a whole bunch of Nopon. In this episode, it's basically a load of quest acceptance. Right, this guy wants cool potatoes. And interestingly enough, we didn't actually receive an item vision of the cool potatoes at all. So I'm actually amazed how we actually got that. Uh, right. Okay, so there's actually two ways to actually go up the stairs in this case. So we're going to go up this way. Orb storage level. Right, okay. Pollen orb storehouse location. Right, all right. You want to finish your job now? Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay. More no pond villages here. Okay, so that's actually another case of how to get up from there. Right. Wait, what? My God, it's like... It's like bridges all over the place. Jeez. Good grief. Okay. So, I guess we'll go up this way first. Middle housing level... Pollen works level. There's a heart to heart here. Can't view that yet. Landmark pollen works. There's another heart to heart right over here. Oh, Ricky. Uh, wait, there's a landmark here and a landmark down there. Really close to each other. Okay, we can't view this one yet either. Archaeology level. Madamo. Floppy Crest. Okay, nope. So that's actually where we need to go further up. Another Nopon Villager. Another Nopon Villager. A quest. Another quest up here. Archaeology Center. Bash Lazy Bluco at Yellow Flower Grove in Magna Forest only at night. Okay. I mean, it is night currently, but I don't think it's actually for that purpose. Oh, that's actually where we need to go. Okay, never mind. So we've got top housing level. Hey, grab four ash foxes. We actually just grabbed enough of them. Nice. We didn't get a item prompt for that either. Ah, uh, okay. This is definitely interesting of how you navigate this area. I am not going to lie. like more than one way to actually go up and down this area. Mysterious Sanctuary, and there's where Melia is. You can see another heart to heart, and also, oh, it's a landmark, Prophecy Hut. 
have become a little far-sighted recently, undoubtedly from reading in dark places while lying down. We had Upper Ember. Right, okay. We don't have any of them. But we'll take note of that. Can't view that yet. Just a normal knob on furniture, okay. What's out here? Dead end. Two more Nopon villagers. Apex Lake. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, Contemplation Terrace. Transport Guide. You're the home home who want to go to plunge up to Earth Sea. So we mean no can send just anyone who won't go. You need ask Chief Dunga. We can't view this heart to heart yet either. And I see a collectible over there. Another Empress Beetle, okay. Wait. Where do we get that? Alright. Somehow I picked up a collectible without even realizing. So another knob on villager here. And also Me make hook to catch Danos, me try Oh, was that one of the search quests okay. So that was one of the search quests of the no pon that we accepted. Okay, right. Um, uh, right, I'm having a look down real quick. I can't see water down there, so I'm not going to take the plunge. Oh, actually, never mind. That's actually the entrance. Oh, there's the water. Ready? Let's jump down. Oh, oh God, this was a big mistake. Big mistake. Big mistake. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. I legit thought I actually misjudged that. Thank heavens that that water was deep enough. Oh, jeez. Right then. Okay, so we do have a lot of quests for us to complete. They're not timed. So we can basically do them at our own time, really. Alright. Wait, what? There was a... Oh, my God. I was just up there, and it didn't say that there was a quest, but now that... Oh, because it was it was nighttime. All right. We have lizards for pets once, but Mom can't eat them. Next time, we want to have poison lizards, so Mom can't not eat them. All right, okay. We'll take note of that. Any more quests? That show up in the daytime. Uh, okay, so there's two on the third floor. And there's one on the first floor and one on the ground floor. Oh, and a lot more on the... Right, okay. Right, this is going to be a bit silly, but I want to do that jump again. But this time, I'm going to land here. So I got a better chance of landing in the water. There we go.
Right, so you are the first one for the quest. Icky ticky diddly do a uh, diddly do what 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 Okay, I have no idea what the heck that was about. A black panel and a rainbow. Okay, two new collectibles. Nice. And that actually automatically completes the Collectopedia for Frontier Village. Weapon Power 2 and... Agility Up 3. Followed with... Half Bloom Striker. Okay, let's see if that's any good on Dunban. Jeez! Okay. Minus 3% critical rate, but plus 200 and 300 auto attack. My word. Uh, let's see. Remove all gems. Let's see. Um, do you know what? Sure. <laughs> Weapon power 2. And... Um, Um, yeah, we'll put either the vents up on you. And, let's see, what else? Strength of three. But dang. What a stat boost. we we'll just pick up more along the way in case we actually get any more Empress Beetles to help us complete the quest that we need to do. Oh, God. I took my eyes off the screen for a split moment and I paid the price. Yep. Shulk, come on. Shulk! You can climb a tree! Come on, there we go, thank you. That shulk, shulk, shulk. Not having any silly. You're trying to become warrior, but really. Wow, good luck with that. Pure. I don't remember picking up pure cherries. Okay. Well then, um, well, I've got a lot of side quests to do off camera. Of course, there's not all of them I've accepted yet. Oh, there's actually one here. Wait, not on tower. Not on tower. Wait. Oh, right, right, right. That takes me back out to uh, Magna Forest. I don't want to do that. Can I? Okay, I can't climb the ladders. Fair enough. <clears throat> right. What's your quest? Terror or Lugas? Oh, hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Amos or Luger? Wait, you really do not like all Lugas, do you? Apparently so. Okay, what else? So, ground floor... Floor one, okay. Right. Breezy Solos. Near Windmill Pavilion. Okay. So we are taking note of these uh, quests because I won't be able to show them on camera, just a heads up. Oh, hello. Break two. 
Maybe that's actually the gem I need to actually help me inflict break on those big enemies. And I can see you also trade Fossil Monkey and a Juicy Grape. Oh, hey, oh, weapon shop. So we had an armor shop and now we got a weapon shop. I actually completely missed this. So heavy dry. Oh, we finally got a better weapon for Shulk, uh, for Vine. Why do I keep saying Shulk on Vine? Why do I keep doing that? Oh, we also have um, arts for um, our characters here. Unfortunately, though, I won't have enough money to buy them all. I only have enough to buy five of the five-digit ones. So I'm definitely going to need to, like, earn money somehow. So I'll keep a note of that. I'll keep a note. Right, okay, oh, yes, yep, yeah, there you are. Dubba dubba. Hmm. Right, I see, okay. So grab five lots of yellow pollen at Yellow Flower Grove. Okay. I'll make sure to do that off camera. Uh, I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to talk to you. Ah, okay. Right, is that all of them? Let's see. Mm, all the... Okay. 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 Yep. 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 Yeah, okay, good. That's all of them. A uh, word to the prophecy heard the name. We'll talk to Melia and then we'll end off the episode. Melia, you're welcome to come with us. Is it true? Were you alone in the forest? <sighs> that thing must be stopped by my hand. This is my pledge to those that have died. Is it wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest. Wounded by a girl. Wounded by a girl? You don't mean you're going to fight the Telethia? <gasps> How do you know of the Telethia? When I went to collect the ether crystals, some Telethia attacked me. I managed to destroy them and get away. You defeated Telethia? Who... who are you? The Minardo. So that sword can... To tell the truth, they were the Telethia spawn. Someone told me the primary Telethia is healing somewhere in the forest. It was you, wasn't it? You hurt the Telethia. It... Melia. The Telethia escaped from our homeland, and I am tasked with killing it. It cannot remain free. For the sake of my people and the Nopon, it must be stopped. Melia, we can help you defeat it if you like. Out of pity? No. Why then? It's just... I... I won't. Speak, Shulk. Or I shall be forced to summon the Nopon chief to interpret for me. I... would like to help. What could you possibly gain from aiding me? I saw it. At the top of a black tower. You and I were fighting together. Fighting that faced Mekon. I also saw you fighting a huge Telethia. 
They threw me the first time and all. Forgive me, Shulk, but what are you talking about? Shulk can see visions of the future. See the future? And you expect me to believe this rubbish? Believe what you want, lady. Same as I tell all the non-believers. <laughs> That'll be me, then. Oh, yeah. In any case, <laughs> the only reason we got this far was because of Shulk's visions. If Shulk says he saw you in a vision, then you must be important to whatever happens next. And if you're tough enough to fight and face Mekon, you're all right in my book. You've got my vote. A lady should not go unaccompanied onto the battlefield. Excuse me? I... I am quite capable of dispatching the beast alone. I require no assistance of any kind. My dear, I apologize, but I could not help overhearing. Their offer sounds quite reasonable. The danger extends much further than our small dwelling. Machna itself is at risk. And we shall provide you with the finest warrior of our clan. Chief Dunga, I... Uh, no need for thanks. He is the equal, if not better, of the Hom Hom. You don't know we're listening. The chosen Nopon hero will await you below. I shall go ahead and prepare him. Please excuse me. And we obviously all know who that is. Because we were given a rumour. <laughs> yeah, we were um, spoiled of a new hero joining us because of those art manuals we bought. Well, Melia has rejoined our party, and I think... No, okay, never mind. I thought Melia was actually the reason why most of these heart-to-hearts could not be feud. But you know what? Yep, may as well do that. We'll do this, and then we'll end the episode...
idea. Okay. I can honestly say, best hero introduction ever. They introduced the character by playing volleyball with him. <laughs> Literally. You saw Melia do the underhook layup. Then Shulk did like a basketball push out to push Ricky into the air. And then Ryan just spiked him into the ground. <laughs> that is honestly the best way to introduce a character ever. Considering that he was a furball. But no disrespect to Ricky. Ricky deserves a lot of credit in that. Because that was funny. But anyway. Next time we've seen the Chronicles Definitive Edition. We're going to get the equipment for Ricky. See you guys then.